So let's begin. We do have the justice. Maybe a Libra important in your life and we do have dreams coming true. For some of you, right, going through legal battles or stuff like this, justice, we know it's about karma, it's about justice, sentences, um, legal system, all that kind of. We do have dreams coming true, so your wishes will be uh, fulfilled. So we're doing good, right? But before we jump to conclusions, I suggest we, um, we see all the energies here. So my love readings, right? Past energies, current energies, and the possible outcome for February. This is how I do. Oh, and we have your side and the person you are dealing with. So, and my chill energies, of course. So bottom of the deck, I'm picking up the energy of somebody who's single and in a healing process and dealing with an ending of some sort, right? We have the world and the star card. Um, I honestly believe that uh, I, I actually it's not that i believe i feel that every time we have the star card we know we are safe you know i'm kind of reassured for you gemini that you are guided you know what to do um you know that is a that is a a gameplay i would say in your life and you're safe no matter what um but i can feel the loneliness um gemini i can feel the loneliness you know this um, I mean, this star, and there are many stars, but the one, right? Um, I mean, she's single in, in, in itself. She's unique. That's the point. And then the world is an ending of some sort. And then Nine of Pentacles in love readings is about being single, right? It's also a card of um, taking care of your health, your well-being, your financial situation. But it's a love reading. So I can I can feel the loneliness, um, Gemini. And it's... Um, it's a unique place to be with the star. It's it's not a lonely place to be because we um, we always have like a world of creativity and imagination in our hand on how to deal and cope with this, right? There are resources. We are not really 100% alone. Um, we can also attach to, to people and, um, and things around us and, and knowledge and books and information. So I'm <clears throat> just saying for some of you, um, the world is happy endings and probably you're going to say, yeah, but it's painful. I know, but, um, it opens up an opportunity that you never thought possible. That's the idea of the world, right? We close the chapter and we, and we open a beautiful one and, but we have to believe it and we have to see the opportunity in it. So honestly, I feel this is happening to you because we have two beautiful major arcana coming in saying ah, that is a lesson in it that's the painful part but it's also something beautiful in it and that's the beauty of it so <clears throat> now gemini let's see we have past energies on your side the person you are dealing with and mutual energies let's see current energies on your side the person you are dealing with <clears throat> and mutual energies and let's see the possible outcome on your side, the person you are dealing with, and mutual energies. Bottom of the deck, healing begins. I love this. You have twice the card of healing. And probably it was a hell of a fight. We do have five of swords. Like I like to say to you, it was a half fight and a half. So now we are healing. We kind of had enough. It was time uh, for the situation, right, to bring us some... Um, happy endings and some some peace of mind also six of swords is an energy of peace of mind now gemini in the past you and this person we do have the coming together and we have the strengthening bonds um sure this is an energy of you probably <clears throat> knew this person because strengthening bonds means there was a bond or maybe it was um really they felt like home um and they felt like um, like a soulmate, right? We recognized uh, the other person's soul, and there is a familiarity to it, and there is a closeness um, closeness with it. So with that, with him, or with her, right? And we have the two of cups. So we fell in love deeply with this person. It does look like love of first sight because we have the Ace of Pentacles, the minute of the offer, 
we are already <clears throat> tied to the hip to this person and um um and it's an energy really of um you know being lost and in love with this person and um emotionally attached to to them so um I have been an Aquarius, like I was saying, but I mean, what else is there to be said, right? And we probably had a per had a marriage with this person. Maybe we've been committed because we do have the Four of Wands and the Wheel of Fortune. So they brought the change into this um, family set connection relationship. Four of Wands is an energy of living together. Is an energy of <coughs> is an energy of um, um, you know having. Uh, being part of their community uh, or you being part of theirs that kind of energy so but it's a beautiful one so uh, because it's one of stability and they felt stable and and grounded and that is an energy of happiness with the four of ones and celebrations and weddings and that kind of energy and um but then there was the wheel of fortune right something changed in their own dynamic in their own destiny we know wheel of fortune is about destiny i know in this deck is about flow but it's um you know uh, things going up and down and in cycles mostly um traditionally the wheel of fortune and they kind of brought a change on all of it and of course it was a big change and it was a big boom right we do have the tower uh, and we have the Seven of Swords. So somebody was not fully honest with this connection. I'm sure one was very in love. And I probably, uh, I tend to believe, uh, Gemini, that this is on your side. So you you were really the uh, the one in love and, and blindfolded and connected to this person and always in quest to um, strengthen bonds and, and, you know, get closer and um, have something honest and unique. Um, but then the boom happened, right? And then you had to seek for the truth and it's mutual energies. Um, you know, when um, when the soul doesn't rest, you know, this is a combination of the tower with the seven of swords of a restless soul, maybe a restless mind, um, needing somebody, needing something we don't know what. So um, they messed up, right? They did something. Um, because they were seeking something. Was it the truth? It was their truth. And um, and then there was a boom. <laughs> it does look like a marriage, honestly, but we will see as we go. Um, I, I do love the tower in this because it is a card of rebuild. So I don't know if you took them back. That is an energy of, honestly, even in the past, maybe thinking about a possibility to um because of all this love that you that you had and and seek the truth with the tower is also a combination of cards i have to find the reason why and then i'll be able to rebuild so i'm sure this crossed the mind of somebody here now right now gemini oh it's interesting because it kind of fits the um the overall energy right we do have the full so this is a new beginning and this and it's paired with the moving on card so we are ready for a new chapter here we are somehow ready to start new it is a leap of faith but i don't think it doesn't look like with this person maybe you are ready to let go of um because the moving on is on the right and the the full card is um, on the left right so completely opposite directions here um we need something new and it's, i do love the trust a message in the full card because this is taking the risk and trusting that no matter what's coming your way cannot be worse than you ha than you had you know that's the energy of well i went through a tower moment that is the lowest point of somebody's life right when everything falls apart so it cannot go you know lower than this so the only way is up and i just um love this energy uh gemini i love this energy for you uh, Gemini, they have you and they have the tower. <laughs> so maybe if you are talking to this person, they would say, Gemini brought the tower moment upon myself and my life is ruined because of a Gemini, right? We have the lovers and we have the tower. So a painful moment. They are actually living a very painful moment and your energy is all over it. So you know that, right? Maybe it's because of you. That's what they think. 
and this is how they feel and this is why they find themselves in a tower moment and it continues right um it's a lot of pain it's a lot of and it's rebuilding so some of you here uh, you are dealing with somebody believing that this love is possible to be rebuilt and it's again the second um it's like the second continuity of if i understand the truth of the betrayal i might be able to rebuild and then rebuilding with gemini but also rebuilding the love if they can you know put the pieces together um <clears throat> And again, three major arcane out of four cards. So I believe that is quite a transformative time for them. Um, and it's really changing the way they relate to love, the way they lead their life, right? That's the power, really um, questioning, you know, questioning the fundamentals of, you know, who, who am I and what is uh, my life actually and what, what I want it to be in some way. Mutual energies between you and this person, Nine of Pentacles, of course, both of you are single. I believe coping with whatever tower is happening right now, fighting your own fight. That's the Nine of Pentacles, right? You on your side, you want to start new. We have this energy that I have to move on. This is too painful, right? And you put a lot of, of love in this connection. Two of Cups, Ace of Pentacles is both sides of a love connection right emotions but also the practicality of it so um and then again we move on and we continue and uh, and this is your fight and this is kind of your cross as i like to and then we have the three of wands so both of you you are waiting maybe waiting on on the right time waiting for the tower moment you know to settle in the, in the dust to settle a bit and start to see clearly what direction to take we also have take the lead, right? That's the three of wands, taking the lead. Um, it's paired with a single card, right? So we know that, you know, we need to work hard on this and we need to lead this uh, phase of, of the connection. But also I would say of your life because we have energies of embracing, ending and starting new. It's um, a couple of cards now, one, two, three, four. So... I believe for somebody, for some Gemini over here, the message is quite clear. We need to heal something and we just embrace and move on. And we say goodbye to the past, right? For some of you. Kind of complicated, I know. But um, this is what we are getting today. <laughs> Gemini, the outcome on your side, we do have the five of cups. So, um yeah i know we miss the person he or she right we miss him we miss her and it's paired with the seven of cups a little bit of illusion a little bit of confusion way to in your emotions so maybe february is a month and i know it's it's valentine's day and it's the lover's month as i call it so i know it's a it's an emotional time and it's just like christmas and new year's eve you know in a way so some food for thought what can we do because emotions are overwhelming here um coming your way gemini and knowing that of course we can prepare and keep ourselves busy that day so or the day prior to or however this um hits home to you um gemini the person you are dealing with <clears throat> Sorry, I'm losing my voice here. We do have the Ace of Pentacles, and it's they are mirroring your past energy. So that is an offer that they want to give you. But then with the Nine of Wands, they are um, kind of, you know, uh, protecting themselves, uh, being cautious, you know. Um, so, yeah, they want to strengthen bonds. But again, that is this energy of um, composing right they are going through tower moment in the past in the current moment so moving forward somebody's um really ma making sure that nothing uh will hurt them um self-protective maybe a little bit in retreat this is um, nine of wands is um also perseverance uh, which is a beautiful energy and it might be for some of you it's a strong message that despite whatever happened they um continue to uh have this for you you know or they still believe this is possible this is also the investment card saying yeah it's a mess but it was good then when we planted the seed um you know it is solid so and there might be a period of tower moment but then when everything settles you know the seed will 
you know, will um, be productive and will, will bring something to the surface for us. Mutual energies, we do have the four of wands again and the five of wands. So maybe I'm talking marriage here, Gemini. Maybe you are married to this person or in, again, this energy of household of living together, um, settling down and putting down roots, but it's paired with the five of wands, right? We are a little bit conflicted um, of how to proceed, right? Um, five of wands might be very well a card of not just like the seven of wands, but five of wands is a card of fighting for this connection. So given the energies, I don't think, I, I mean, nobody really abandoned this connection, right? Somebody wants to fight for it and they want to fight, you know, by uh, opening up and having this new beginning of some sort, but, you know, walking on eggshells kind of. And on your side, maybe well, a little bit too emotional to see. You have two complete uh, different energies. And honestly, I would say the mutual energy is more on their side, the energy of ones. And on your side, we are, you know, probably in the morning process of a connection because there was a boom, there was a moving on. And, and then we have stages of, right, healing um, a connection that we had to, with somebody, a relationship. So... Um, and five of cups is the energy of mourning the loss of somebody, you know, and it's one of the stages. And then we move to anger, but that's another story. Um, I hope you don't, but it's, uh, you know, it's in the books. So I talk in healing by the books. So that is the anger stage. So Gemini, let's ask for some guidance. And I still know um, that this is a little bit like okay we know what happened we know it was love we know it's a tower moment and that is an offer on the table now what if we have we if we look at the overall energies we have embrace and heal so um someone is really receiving the um a message today but let's let's see the guidance before we um you know say something And um, Gemini, you always have to use our better judgment. And I really want to a bit insist on that because you have the tower moment twice. Um, and whatever this tower moment means to you, right? Because, yeah, it is starting over, but it can mean plenty of things, right? Um, can, um, can mean conjugal violence, can mean whatever, um, you know, heavy energies that might happen. It can be disruption, bankruptcy all that kind of energy so you know always seek um, professional advice that's very important actually right and someone to guide you so let's see <clears throat> gemini we do have pay attention to the red flags so that is something that you know and the tower moment in itself it's not a red flag actually it's more than a red flag but the signs are cautioning you i do hope you're seeing uh, the signs so, um, kind of, uh, you know, calling in your soulmate, your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations help you bring, help bring it together. So, I don't know, it looks like they are your soulmate, and you need to be aware of something, but they are. Okay, we have one card that flew. Honeymoon, enjoy the bliss of holiday time together, Mike, and we have the trust card. So I don't know, you have a bond with this person. This situation is calling you, is calling for you to have faith. Um, well, you are not prevented from going their way yet, Gemini. You will have somebody, actually. This person is your soulmate, I mean, right? And that is calling in your soulmate. For some of you, it's really about picking up the phone and calling somebody. But very well knowing that there are red flags, right? all over this reading. We do have surrender to the wisdom of your body. Listen to your body's messages about a person or situation. If you feel physically drained or uncomfortable, be cautious. If you are energized and happy, move forward. So I believe this is your red flag, right? Your own intuition, I don't know. You have to set the red flags and your body has the answer. And you know it, you know it, right? When we feel comfortable, if we feel good, we we know that is the future right there. 
Surrender to the beauty of the natural world. Take a relaxing break and spend time in nature. Replenish yourself by feeling the beauty and the ecstasy there. <clears throat> so you really need to take care of yourself. This is what I'm hearing. But then there are these love cards confusing, right? It's honeymoon. So that isn't honeymoon is the beginning of something. Um, and we might have this person really offering you a new beginning. And for some of you, this is you're picking up the phone, right? <clears throat> and discussing new beginnings. But, you know, there are conditions and restrictions, of course, right? And it is, listen, you know, your own intuition and also um, make sure you connect in some way and you stay balanced. Uh, the connection with the natural world is actually the groundiness of it and, and really staying connected. And aware and seeing all this and, yeah, the second card of intuition. So we have surrendered. Surrender to your intuition, tune in to your inner voice. So that is that is a small voice inside your head saying, well, there are red flags, right? Be aware of any gut feelings, flashes, knowings, or aha moments that come through to guide you. I love this. So you have the answer, Gemini, you know. You know, but there is love here, of course, and, and most certainly a, a soulmate bond. But you know what to do with this. Um, Gemini, this is all that I have for you guys. Of course, as always, you have to let me know what you think. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and come see me next time. Love you. Take care. Bye.